Quarter Development Initiative focuses on a specific area of a neighborhood, an area that hasn't seen a lot of development lately or one that's poised uh, or on the cusp of development. We work to develop a set of priorities from the community before development occurs. The reason that, that the Metropolitan Planning Council got involved in the Quarter Development Initiative is we saw so often where communities were forced to just respond to a development idea um, which often turned out into a negative process where we wanted to turn it around into a more positive process for the community that they can actually come up with the concept. It's about educating. And for a long time, part of the resistance to change is that not enough education has gone on in the community. The Quarter Development Initiative tries to teach community uh, residents about uh, density versus affordability, about uh, building costs per square foot, land values per unit costs, all sorts of calculations that go into making a project viable or not. The first meeting in the Quarter Development process is a meeting where the community comes together and talks about just conceptual ideas of like what they would like to see the community look like or how they would like it to grow. You know what was important for us in the first meeting is to build trust and understanding with the residents. And to do that we use keypad polling which is a really great interactive technology and instantaneously after voting you can see the room results. The first session actually was very um, uh, inspirational for me and it actually uh, hit the nail on the head. People from the community were able to say, I want to dream about what can actually go on Ogden Avenue. I want to see a cleaners, I want to see a laundromat, I want to see a grocery store, I want to see a shoe store. Those type of things that never are in one room and the opportunity to dialogue about that happen. And then we get a lot of input and feedback about what kinds of development the community would like to see. So tonight's block building exercise really is very interactive. There are tables with participants from the community at each table, plus an architect and a facilitator. Um, the architect is there to really bring the community's vision to life and to sketch up those ideas that people are talking about. And the facilitator is there to kind of answer questions about density and pl other planning issues. And the community has a map on the table that is to scale and blocks that are also representative of different units of housing. So it could be three units or one unit, could be retail space on the bottom. And People just basically build, use those blocks to build however many levels they are to scale. We, for instance, we had one that was like a two U-shaped residences, and it, it, as we were piling the blocks up, we got up to about four stories on this particular footprint, and we realized that was about it, because we were starting to lose the impact of daylight into the inside of the space and so on, and everybody could see it. And then the architect draws it, and then they add up all the units that they have and take that sheet to a developer. And then what happens is the developer says, this project is $12 million under budget, or this project is $2 million above budget. And so people can really learn how density and how different types of buildings really pan out. It's a big educational process. The process is what's going on today is very comfortable. I mean, the planning, a couple people and myself has sat at the table and we discussed it. Do you understand? How it should be built, you know, what's going on. I mean, we loved it. I've learned a lot already because there is a, a parcel of land that we have on Ogden Avenue that I have waited until this moment in time to decide what we're gonna do with it until we hear from the community. And so it's, it's changed what I thought the community would wanna see happen there. And so that's a good thing. And in the third and final meeting, we do a wrap-up where we present, report back the ideas that we heard from the community. 
will walk away with some actual concepts that have essentially the stamp of community approval. Those concepts then are, can be used by the aldermen, by the planning department um, to vet private development proposals. Because the community now has a document that says this is what we'd like to see happen in our neighborhood. The developer now has a document to say this is what the community would like to see happen in the neighborhood. And so with those two coming together, it was just to me a win-win for the community. I think this is a tool that is being used the right way. I think, you know, it's, it's always good to have the knowledge because knowledge is power, you know, because you wonder why is that lot sitting vacant for so long. And what this process did was give us the insight to, you know, what, what are the steps to actually get a development happening on a particular parcel of land. And it really helped. As complex as development might be, the fact that we've been able to create a, a process where the community gets their input but also gets to learn from the process and understands the challenges was very important and I just saw the sparkle in people's eyes today is that they were happy to be challenged. So the, the challenge here is to take this as a starting point and keep the ball rolling and what is the next step? How are we going to move this forward to the point where it becomes real? and they have, they have a real project, they have a developer, they have an architect and engineer. The Quarter Development Initiative can be applied in any number of communities uh, and all sorts of different types. All communities certainly don't share the same characteristics, the same market, the same demographics, uh, but this process of working with a community to determine what their development needs and wants are first before development's introduced really can be replicated anywhere in the region. If you give a person a vision and let them see what could develop behind the vision. I mean, it's beautiful.